Well, it's been a minute since we've seen anything from Yash, as far as I know. And the first thing I am wondering is how big his beard is going to be. Will we see any Beardo product placement in this film? Although, you know, we didn't see any Beardo product placement from Rithik from his uh, The Fighter teaser. So I don't expect to see anything related to that here. Nonetheless, I expect to see a beard. I got a daisy feeling. What is going on, everybody? I am Javi Kawei, and we've got the new Yash teaser in front of us, Toxic. It is also starring... Oh, oh, let me make sure I get this right. It is also starring Gitu... No. Ah, I knew it. When you look at the YouTube title, like, there's just a bunch of names, right? And I saw Gitu Mohandas, and I was like, is that a star or is that the writer-director? And I looked more closely, and it is the writer-director of Toxic. You guys, thanks so much for joining. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, if you didn't watch my teaser reaction to the fighter, I'm going to let you know now. It is currently 5.03 a.m. I got up at about 4.17 a.m. and I got my all these text messages and WhatsApp saying, yo, these teasers have dropped. The fighter, toxic, get on it. And I'm like, oh my God, all right. And so we're doing it. Here we go, 5 a.m. teaser reaction. Uh, that's cool. Nice way to reveal it. Oh, that's an interesting logo. Very old school. Oh, you saw him for a second there, right? This is a dope beat, dude. There he is. It almost looks like dust. Like Thanos dust. A fairy tale for grown-ups. <laughs> That's fun. Yo, that is a ways off. Did y'all see the date? They are taking their time with this puppy. 10 2020 We haven't even hit 2024 yet. What is in this movie that requires it to be oh, like almost two years away? Yo, make sure you don't die. <laughs> you gotta be here on 10 2025 Make sure that you are around for 10 2025 Don't go nowhere. Don't go to Fiji. Don't go to don't go to Thailand. Stay in India and be ready, or stay at a theater anyway. Stay stay somewhere where you can reach a, a movie theater that plays Indian cinema on 1004 2025. Jeez, Louise, that's so far away. I thought this was a really really cool way to put this together, you know, as a title announcement. Because what I'm accustomed to seeing is like a poster of some kind, and it's like a motion poster with like things going on. And uh, th this is actually a cool little tease. The thing is, like, they're sort of like spacing this out with showing you the production names and whatnot before you finally get to the thing that you are craving, it's very good because they're making you want, right? They're like, whoa, I wanna see something. And then for a fleeting moment, you get uh, this glimpse of him right there. And it, it's got this like smoky texture to it that like I said a moment ago, kind of reminds me of, it looks like ash to me now that I think about it more, but uh, dusted, you know, in, uh, in Avengers or just the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All the Avengers got dusted, all the people, half the world got dusted. That's what this kind of looks like to me for a fleeting second. But then looking at it more closely, it kind of has a um, smoky texture to it, like ash in an ashtray. If you've ever seen uh, Terminator 2, I don't think this is related at all to what I'm about to say. It's just more the look that I'm kind of impressing upon you. If you've ever seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day, when you see like the nuclear holocaust scenes where people are getting killed and whatnot, they have like this smoky texture to them before they, they get dusted by winds, by nuclear winds, right? And so that also has a similar look. I have no idea why they're doing that particular look for this. Obviously, it's just a title announcement. The title with that look, I'm not sure what the clues are, if there are any at all, or if it's just a cool look. And if it's just a cool look, that works too. That That's just as dope. You know, the thing about it is with Yash, they created a look with KGF 
that has been inspiring for other Indian film directors and has been mimicked repeatedly and, and then altered a little bit to go more the charcoal black look. Now it's this, and I don't know what this is exactly because we haven't seen a picture at all. We haven't seen any footage at all. This is literally just texts and whatnot and then the texture to the text, but it still has a unique flavor that we haven't actually seen, that I can't recall seeing in any Indian uh, teasers or trailers before. And so that's cool that they have found a way, you know, from someone like myself, I'm like, yo, what new thing could you possibly do? It's like, haven't you done it all? All the stories have been told, all the styles have been told. And then here, lo and behold, there's like a new way that they found to announce this teaser with this sort of texture and whatnot. I know I'm kind of harping on and on about that, but there's really nothing else to talk about with regards to this teaser. They've done a good job of finding something refreshing here. And I, I very much wonder what the hell this is about. We did see him with like a Tommy gun. And so I'm guessing that this is going to feel a little bit like KGF, just in terms of like the kind of character we're following because KGF, especially part two, had a sort of Scarface vibe. And I feel like while Tony Montana from Scarface didn't have a Tommy gun, he had like a automatic machine gun of some kind that kind of feels like a Tommy gun. Say hello to my little friend. A Tommy gun is used for one thing, dude. It's just to unload on people. And uh, funny enough, like the, the thing I associate Tommy gun with is a movie called The Mask starring Jim Carrey. A Tommy gun. Gitu Mohandas is a female writer director. I shouldn't be like so shocked, but it's like I was I thought for like when I read the name, I wasn't thinking gender. Like my automatic default th thought was a, a, a male writer director. It's interesting because I haven't seen a female director do anything action. The closest the close I can I mean in India, the closest I can think of is Zoya Akhtar. Those are still more dramatic focused tales, right? This feels like it's going more towards that fiery, over-the-top action kind of vibe, just like KGF. And so it's really cool to see a female helming that, um, just because I haven't seen it before. I'm very, very curious. Now, here in the States, sometimes what happens is when you have a female director, they doing an action thing. They tend to go like more hardcore and edgier. And sometimes it feels like they're trying to prove a point, like, I'm just as edgy as a guy. It's like, no, you're going like 10 times more edgy, 10 times more edgy than a guy. One of my favorite female uh, directors over here is uh, um, Catherine Bigelow. I think she does great work. She did Zero Dark Thirty. And she has a perfect balance of like drama and, and seriousness, action and whatnot. And so I'm very, very curious to see what uh, uh, Gitu does. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering her name, uh, but um, she started out as an actress according to this list here, and is now directing. So that's really cool to see her make that transition. I would love to like talk to her and find out like how she made this transition and how she convinced the film production or whatever to allow her to tell this story, because that's super cool. I'm sure there's a lot of actresses out there actually who would love to also, or just females in general who would love to direct Indian cinema like of this style and just haven't given haven't been given the chance yet. So that's super, super cool. Anyways, you guys, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Uh, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kuei. Peace out.